Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you guys. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Sagittarius, okay? Before I start, Sagittarius, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for um, supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't, um, click the bell. Click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, I invite you to check out the description box below. You'll see the details of my website. And my website will have the details of the products and the services that we offer outside of the YouTube platform. This reading for today, this is a love message. This is a love reading. Let's see what's coming towards you. What can I get for Sag? Applicable for singles. Oh, you're manifesting. Singles, couples in a relationship, dating, getting to know. You're manifesting an emperor. Ooh, okay. Um, the High Priestess, the Emperor card, the Ten of Swords. You are liking, okay. You like, you love. There's some someone in your mind, okay, Sagittarius. As of today, there is a person in your heart, in your mind, okay. And you're manifesting this person, Sagittarius, to call you. Uh, you're manifesting this person to call you, to text you, to make a move, okay? Um, you're manifesting, this is the high priestess, this is an emperor, okay? You're manifesting an emperor, okay? An emperor is a busy person. An emperor is someone who manage their empire, an emperor will, when they set up a rule, you're dealing with someone who's busy. You're dealing with someone who they prioritize their empire over their personal matter. Okay? Uh, you're dealing with a person who the emperor card, the ten of swords, they're going through something. Could be personal, professional, but the person that you're manifesting, they've got other priorities. Not yet into, the, you, you don't have a similar energy, okay? But in general, you're manifesting someone to reach out, to call you, to text you, to make connection with you. And if this person is not as responsive, it's because they are an emperor they're busy but let's see okay let us see what is the message between you and this person okay sagittarius manifesting an emperor you're manifesting the love of your life you're probably you really like this person so much let's see okay ace of cups okay don't worry okay relax relax Sagittarius, because relax, this person is going to offer you love. This person has something to offer to you, Ace of Cups. Um, they're the Emperor, the Ten of Swords. I feel like this person is going to end a very complicated cycle. And they will be able to really focus on you. Okay, so I want you to just be, just be positive, be friendly. If you want to follow up, follow up with them. Um, do not disconnect, do not, you know, block them. You're dealing with someone who's busy, you know. They've got, they can offer love, okay. This person can offer love, but there's still a block, ten of swords. or They're ending a, a complicated situation or there's something with the setup or the timing that as of today, as of today, moving forward, this person has a ten of swords, but it will be gone. So don't block them, leave it and... Let's see if if you got their attention. Yeah. This person, um, they find you like a dark horse. Okay. This person, I would say, they're very intrigued. Like this person is not right away romantic towards you. 
they're intrigued towards you. Their attraction to you is quite unique. This person finds you unique. This person finds you not the typical person that, um, I mean, the way they like you, it's you, the way this person likes you is you are unique. Okay. Um, you are unique and to offer you the ace of cups, there's something unique about you. Okay. Let's see. Last card, please. So if you're manifesting someone to call you, to text you, most especially if this is a dating or getting to know, you just relax. You just relax, Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, three of cups, yeah. So, I feel like this person, they're figuring things out right now. They find you unique. They like you in a way that is quite unique, okay? Um, you're someone who isn't typical, you know, like they're kind of thinking how to handle you, how how to impress you. So whether this is online dating or a new person, you just relax. You just keep the number. Don't block it. They will return an attention towards you, Sagittarius. Yeah. See? Look at that. Empress card. So it will pick up. Um they have instant attraction, but for some reason they're divided. But you win because it could be this person, the reason why they're slow in terms of texting, calling, you know, maybe the seven of swords there, they have other options. Maybe this person is also dating or getting to know, but don't worry, you're still the, the unique one, something with you that is unique and you just keep them because three of cups, you know, you just, you just chill. I'm having a very strong vibe. You will be able to attract this emperor. You will pick up conversation again. And it's better to have the conversation later, you know, later this week. It could be an instant. It could be that the invitation could be an in, sorry. It could be, you know, they're not respond. This person could, it, it's possible that they're not responsive to you. And then weekend, they ask you out. So they they have not been, you know, interactive or calling or texting, you know. Then they call you, they text you, and it's an instant invitation. So that's how unpredictable this person is. Because they're an emperor. And like, okay, I'm not busy. Let me do, let, let me check with Sagittarius. Can I see you tonight? You know. Yeah, six of cups. I feel like this person prioritize family or friends or maybe work. But then when they have availability, then that is where they turn into love. So I want you to just have an open mind, open heart, and be, um, be patient. This person will come around. You're manifesting someone heavily. You're manifesting heavily someone, somebody. Okay, last card. Yeah, four of swords. Just relax. You know, if this person does not text or call you after a month, then you panic. But I'm still seeing movement between you and this person. So just keep it. Keep it, okay? Now, all right. So let's see what else is coming towards you, Sagittarius. Love, relationship, dating, getting to know. What can I get for Sagittarius, please? You have the three of pentacles with the ace of wands and the death card. And this one is the queen of swords. Hmm. I feel like there is someone in the past. Okay. There is, there's someone in the past, um, Sagittarius, who ace of wands, three of pentacles. Someone is trying to come back from the past. Okay, Ace of Wands. I feel very weird about this person. There is someone overseas or someone in the past that would message you. The Death Guard, the Queen of Swords. Um, I think you will reject this person. There is someone in the past who you connected. And I feel like you're going to reject them. You're going to reject them. You will reject a person. Queen of Swords, let's see. 
Yeah, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands. You know, there's someone in the past who possibly upset you. You know, someone in the past, they've upset you, disappointed you. Now, they come calling or texting to you and I feel like their texts, I feel like it's more of a text. If it's a call, it will be a missed call. You would see them, it's a missed call. Like they ring. Like they just one ring because they want you to ring back. That's the vibe. But they text you or they, they, they do a missed call. Now, this person, ups, this per, you will reject this person. Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. You will reject them. You will reject a person in the past. Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, and you feel good. <laughs> Savage. There's a person in the past who would reach out. There's a person in the past who will call you, who will text you, and you will reject them. You know, you will not reply, you will not respond, but you will feel good. I feel like this person has been disrespectful to you or there's something about the way they text you or call you or respond to you that um, that is somehow annoying. For some of you, you would even block them straight away. As soon as they text or call you, straight away, you will block them. Let's see. Okay, you've got the Devil card and the Temperance card. Now, this is interesting. It could also be, it could be a Capricorn Temperance card. So... So this one, straight away, you block them, you ignore them, okay? You block them, you ignore them, and you feel good about it, Queen of Wands, okay? Now, you move on. Um, yeah, you feel good about rejecting someone. Now, this, the, one, the third message is that you've got the Devil card, the Temperance card. This is really unexpected because... You had a very, could be a third party, but it's a very toxic relationship, Sagittarius. There was a very toxic relationship. You know, there was a toxic relationship um, between the two of you. I feel like one of these days, this person is going to reach out and tell you, Sagittarius, that it's done. Could be a third party. Okay. Um, yeah. Like the devil card, the temperance card, like this person, they were hiding your relationship and your relationship wasn't successful, you know. Your relationship with this person, it wasn't successful because of a third party or because it's super duper toxic or something with this person that they didn't fight for your love. Um, they, they gave up on you. Now, one of these days, this person is just gonna come around and express to you that you know it's a feeling of I'm divorced now I'm single now I'm completely because from the toxic to all clear so someone will tell you like okay the block is gone they have one message to you I'm single now um, I'm divorced now I am free now we can be together yeah we can be together this person will just message you one thing we can be together now. So if there was a person who's like a third party and you really wanted to be with them, that's the message. I'm not sure if you still want them back, but they will message you and say, we could be together. Someone is going to message you and say, we could be together, right? Shocking. Tower card. This is shocking. It's a shock. You know, like it one quiet afternoon, Sunday afternoon, they message you. Maybe they would show up and say i am free now we can be together i keep hearing the word i am free now we can be together sometimes. okay let's see what else is coming towards you what's the message in love what can i get for sagittarius please the full card okay the ten of one and the Ten of Pentacles. Take a risk. Okay, so you know how 
maybe you have there is someone you are interested with Sagittarius okay so you're interested with someone you're interested with someone with somebody the full card the ten of wands the ten of pentacles you're interested with a person you know could be I don't think it's an ex I don't think this person is an ex but you're interested with somebody they're quite special now for some of you guys Yes, you're interested with this person. They're also interested with you. But the thing is, um, you're quite worried about, for example, this person could be so young or maybe they could be so old and you're hesitating. You know, there's a there's a age difference or maybe long distance or something of a block between the two of you. Um, you just stay like, you just have fun and stay positive because this person... Um, you have so much potential with this person. It could be this, maybe they're 10 years younger or 10 years older. But there is an instant attraction. There's fun, light, good vibe moment between you and this person. Except that one thing. Um, it is 10 of Wands. You could work through that. You know, maybe this person like, okay, I don't want to have kids. I don't want to get married. It could change. Or you're too young or too old. That it, it doesn't matter because the more you push them away or the more they push you away, the more they're intrigued. So this is like unexpected pair. You know, this is unexpected pairing. You would be connected or you'll meet someone or you have someone right now who you will be unexpectedly fall in love you know, or unexpectedly, they'll fall in love with you. This is like unexpected kind of connection, you know, Sagittarius. Because somehow you don't want to fall in love. You resist them and they also kind of resist you because, okay, you know, we're just going to talk, but I don't expect further. Like they don't expect more than that, actually. For some of you, this person has already stopped and then things will pick up again. You'll, you know, you'll communicate again. So, yeah, like... You'll be surprised that if you take a risk, if you just take this as like, you know, maybe. Like this reading, this person, you have a lot of hesitation and you know they're also hesitating, okay? But you keep on talking. The thing is, you know, there's a there's a lot of hesitation. There is a hesitation coming from you and there there's, hesita there's hesitation coming from you and hesitation hesitation coming from them. But you guys keep talking. And then one day you, you guys will realize that you're inviting them, they're inviting you, and you're already dating. Full card. So you just don't overthink. Okay, don't overthink Sagittarius. You you just go with the flow. Because this there's a reason why the universe is connecting you with this person. Okay. All right. Okay. The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, someone miss you. This is an ex or someone you dated on and off or someone who's like, your relationship was complicated. Um, this person is very workaholic. This person is really, when it comes to something that they like to do, well, especially if it's job, you know, they're very workaholic. They really miss you. They really miss your warmth. Uh, someone really miss you, Sagittarius. Let's see what's their next action. Like this person is very workaholic very um like they're a bit self-centered okay but you know this person really la when they're free they really lavish you with attention and they make you they make you laugh sagittarius yeah six of pentacles so what's the update They'll come forward because you're the Queen of Cups and this is the King of Cups. There's someone who's very workaholic. There's someone who I would say did not prioritize you. Maybe they probably choose work over you, most especially if it's long distance, or they chose another person. They chose, like this King of Pentacles, obviously they chose another situation, not you. Now, six weeks from now, this person will come tell you and say, I've made the wrong choice. Or I'm done being a king of pentacles. I want to be your king of cups. Okay? Six weeks from now. Okay. Last reading. Three of swords, five of wands. Oh my gosh. A third party. Six, seven of cups. So, 
So for some of you guys, you're dealing with a third party. I feel like this is not fair because someone connected to a third party will reach out to you. It could be the actual person or it could be the other party. But this is no longer active in your life, like you're no longer together or not so much. And yet, they're, they are dragging you, Sagittarius, to be involved in a third party. I don't think you're still with this person. Yeah, four of wands. I think it's, it's a reading where someone, like you were a third party before, and then you separated and the person went to the original party and now they separated and they're coming towards you both and they're blaming you, but you're totally out of the picture. Like it's not fair, yeah? Like it's it's not fair, you know, because we're separated. So if you guys separated, if, if you guys break up, it's because you really meant to break up, but it's not me. Because you're no longer part in the picture, yeah. Like someone of a husband or a wife will come towards you and blame you. And you're like, no, I'm seeing one, one, one. No, I, I'm no longer part of your, I'm not, I'm not the reason. I'm not the problem because you gave up, you, you disconnected. So someone be prepared for that to defend yourself because it's not fair. Call out. And um, this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I will see you very soon. You have a great day.